Thank you, Jeff. Hundreds of employees who track weather and monitor oceans in the federal government are reportedly losing their jobs. So what could this mean locally as we head into another hurricane season? News Channel 8's Stacey De Silva joining us in studio with the answers. Keith, this is all part of the Trump administration's effort to drastically transform and downsize the federal government. Advocates for NOAA and the National Weather Service say they do life-saving, valuable work. NOAA is a federal agency that touches most Americans' lives on a daily basis. Gabe Brogan is campaign director at Oceana, the largest marine conservation organization in the world. He says he has worked closely with scientists from NOAA for years. Never have I seen bloat or signs that there are extra resources. According to reporting from The Hill, NOAA has begun firings that could impact between 560 and 1,800 probationary workers at the agency. Probationary workers are both new hires and newly promoted employees. Brogan refers to the reported cuts as, quote, irresponsible. Commercial fishermen, beachgoers, the coastal economies that rely on healthy oceans will all be affected by the cuts at NOAA. The National Weather Service is also reportedly affected, which has an office in Tampa. In Lakeland, <sighs> NOAA houses its Aircraft Operations Center and its fleet of hurricane hunter planes that provide live data during hurricanes. City of Lakeland officials say they have no knowledge of job cuts locally. I don't think they're going to jeopardize safety at all. Polk County Commissioner Bill Braswell says the federal government is bloated and cuts have to start somewhere. Obviously, they wouldn't get rid of their pilots for their airplanes or probably their scientists or that sort of stuff. But if, you, if, you, if one does get caught up in that, you know, you realize you're missing somebody you need and you hire them back. In a statement, Noah told me as per out longstanding practice, the agency does not discuss internal personnel and management matters. Coming up at six, hear from a meteorologist who helped track hurricanes and develop models that was until he was fired yesterday. In studio, Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side.